Today we move on to Flashman stage. Flashman. I used to think he was like policeman because it looked like he was flashing a badge, but I see now that's a gun on his arm. Oh, the innocence of childhood. And now Flashman, who has been arrested for indecent exposure in several states. All right, let's see. Up, 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 up. Where do you think you're going, menu? We are definitely going to use our metal blades to emphatic effect. And yes, this is an ice level. Though nowhere near as bothersome as anything we ever witnessed in Iceman's stage. This little this little maze segment keeps things from getting too... Ah, You were waiting right there for me, weren't you? Uh, 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 stop moving! Maybe if I just keep jumping? There we go, that's a little better. I could crash bomb through that. In fact, I think I'm gonna. Because I don't need the crash bombs for anything really special around here. In fact, I should be saving my metal blades because... That is a weapon that takes... There we go, I'll take that. Ah, you were waiting right there all the times for me. Well, guess what? I'm waiting here for you now, and I am going to kill you and get your energy capsule. Ah, you planned that, didn't you? You did that with malice of forethought, and I totally should not have jumped when I got that out. That was a dumbest, malumest move. Man, I'm just stealing all the Brianisms lately. To be fair, though, he is a pretty smooth operator, and this should not have taken me three tries to get up there. That was terrible. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be honest. I totally forgot there was a one up there. That was just a bonus. It's like, why would you not go up right there? And we're going to crash bomb our way through these walls, both as a demonstration of what the crash bomb actually does and the great things it can lead to if you're willing to crash bomb through certain doors like this. First of all, we get to skip this guy, although I will take the opportunity to show you just how much he can be decimated with the air shooter. Yeah, and then you take him out as such like and the Iraq. Okay. And I can do this. You can get a few hits on him per. I don't know why I stuck around and killed him, other than I'm just a sadistic person with problems. 99 problems, to be exact. A bitch not being one of them. Alright, let's see if I can make this jump over here. I think this is the way I want to go. Alright, I didn't exactly need that energy refill because this is a pretty cut and dry level. Oh, ho, ho, ho. not expected, but thank you. Alright. Okay, I was going to say nothing I can really get from here, but this is definitely the way I want to go because I get to skip enemies. I get to take a big long ride. Ah, now here is where our air shooter definitely applies. Okay, do I get shot from here? No, I don't. Excellent. So, I can just take out my regular gun. Man, how often does this thing get used? Ah, I thought I could do like a tab jump. Get him that way. We will duke this out to the end. It will not be a battle of attrition. It will be a battle of me winning. Okay. Now is the part we gotta be careful of. We gotta make a series of long jumps. Bah! Okay, let's see if I can not screw this up, maybe. Yeah, that energy tank is going to be really useful. How many do we have now, actually? We only have two energy tanks so far? I would have sworn we've collected more. They're not quite as plentiful in this game as they would be in other games. Oh, you can just barely make it up there with a one item. Well, just barely is enough to do it. As my dad often said, almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. I'm sure we can get across here without making an international incident out of it. So let's move on to Flashman. Flashman, definitely one of the easier robot masters, and I believe he can be taken down pretty easily with the Metal Blade. I'm not sure if that's what he's weak against per se, but it definitely works for me. It always has in past experience. I even killed him before he froze time, so it's definitely effective enough for my taste. And now we're going to get out of your nice flashy disco room. Although the bricks are clashing with the disco flashing theme. And yes, Flashman, you get an F for your performance today. They're not grading me this time. They're grading you. And I am grading myself on that awful pink getup. That, that is what is actually getting an F. All the Robot Masters get an F because they've died so far. But me, I get an A for performance and an F for gross outfittery. Item 3. Which one is item I think item 3 is the one that sticks to the wall and goes up and down whatever wall it's traveling along. That one is not so useful as some of the others. 
it's definitely not as useful as item one or two. Yeah, item three is kind of the odd man out of the group, but that's okay. There are probably various and sundry uses for it that I'm not even thinking of because I don't care. And I don't care about moving onwards because we've completed our Robot Masters, so I am out for the day. I'm a busy man with places to go, people to see. And tomorrow when I am not a busy man with places to go and people to see, I'll take on Quick Man, and from there we'll move on to Dr. Wily's Castle.